Hi. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Oh, let's start with opening a heart. Offer your heart. Inhale up, belly in. Look at your hands. Bring it down through you. So let's start with some just tapping your kidneys, swinging the left to the right, using your wrists, your fists to tap your kidneys and behind you. Turn your neck and get your neck, your whole torso into the action. Really starting to wake up and open our spine and entire, all the muscles in our side body. Just breathe, find the rhythm. come to the front of the room another offering the heart inhale exhale fold over your legs let go completely just let your neck fall you can bend your knees as much as you need to or not to fold and forward fold put some weight into your toes breathing letting go of your neck let go of any stress feel it drain out of your elbows and feet backs of your legs are opening your feet are opening Around, reach up, inhale, halfway up. Breathe in and exhale, fold over again. And then roll up, inhale, vertebra, five vertebra. Bring your hands to your waist. Lift your right knee to your chest, <clears throat> towards your chest. Halfway up is good. Or just lift it four or five times. Lift the toes, straighten the leg, lift the toes. Finding balance, bend and straighten the left, the right leg. Sorry, right leg is bending and straightening. Then. and then out to the side push against your right hand push your knee into your hand this is really working on our balance and opening the hips um, <clears throat> back to the front bend the right knee and just pulses up pulse and straighten and bend straighten and bend straighten and bend and then so to Take the left knee up and bend and straighten it. Bend and straighten it at the top. No, actually just bend it, pulsing. Pulse, pulse your knee. Pulse up and down, make circles. Straighten and bend your leg. Um, straighten and bend it. Really warming up through the right leg and opening and balancing pushing your left knee into your hand and your hand into your knee out to the side inhale arms up exhale fold down over your legs let go of your head and neck inhale look up halfway exhale fold over again inhale look up come to a little squat and then on your tippy toes to bend your knees slowly lower you to your heels your butt is lower to your heels bend your knees down Lean back, use your core, use your balance, mobility, hit, sit down, knees into your chest, bring your torso over your legs, lift your arms up, yeah. and then lift your right knee, right knee, is straighten and bend your right knee, activating core, really using your core, your ab wall for strength and balance, left leg, strengthening your back journey of strength is built one decision at a time and then lower to your tailbone right between your butt cheeks and you're holding there now hold your left leg three two one and then bend down a little bit to your lower back if you can keep your um, torso off the floor switch legs if you find your lower back coming off the floor suck your core in and then come up a little higher all the way up and release your back over your knees take some breaths here i'm going to do it again and use getting a strong strong core for the work 
reach um, forward and back, opening um, cat cows, holding your knees to get the cat cows, arms are straight up over your knees, bending, use your torso, again engage your core, right leg straightens, hold, three, and then left leg straightens, hold, you're reaching your torso over your leg, your core is engaged, really firing it up, go to your tailbone, same thing, straighten your right leg, core is engaged, belly is in, and then straighten your left leg on your sacrum. You're on your sacrum now, flat part of your back, and then lower your back down to your lower back, and then lift your right leg up. If your torso is coming, not coming off the ground, you might need to come a little higher or a little lower, um, get your left leg straight, and then come all the way up again. <clears throat> Great. And hug your knees and release your back, reach through your heart, and release your neck, chin up, up. Um, take a little arm um, balance, lifting your hips off the floor. The inhale, s using the strength of your arms. Come sitting in between your feet. Start to open up the middle and higher back. The block should be the long way, just um, starting at the bottom of your ribs. And the second block will support your head. So you can bring your feet in front of you and line up your blocks. Just breathe. Come onto your elbows, reach up into a seated position, remove the blocks from behind your back. Take one block, um, you're going to put it right behind your neck. So you might even need to balance this on a side. It's going to go, this is called the gates of heaven and time massage where they, the therapist will lift the back of your head and pull your um, occiput away from your neck. It's really a wonderful feeling. If it's too much for you, you just could just leave it, but i will only be here for about a minute. Um, <clears throat> releasing the neck. So you've just got to kind of wiggle it around and find the spot that works for you in this pose. Breathe and surrender and let go. Remember your intention, what you came here for. And my intention is always the same, to get out of my own way. Now release that and just sit in constructive rest. Even your hips out, release your entire spine. 
and any tension you're holding there, just let it all go. Walk your feet towards each other, knees. Um, put a block between your knees and take your knees to the left and look over your right shoulder. And push your hip away towards the wall. Massage on the side of your thigh. And remove the block if you want to, if you don't need it. Pull your thigh, um, massage down your thigh towards your leg to assist the twist in your spine. Both knees roll over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Um, take your right hand along the hip and push. Maybe just drag it gently towards the wall in front of you. Maybe pull it down. It's just nice uh, little self-adjustment there. Breathe. And both feet to the ceiling. Flex and bend your hands, your wrists, and your toes, and your ankles. Flexing circles. Make circles to the left. And then make circles to the right with your feet and your wrists. And then spread your um, arms. Make these with your legs. Cross over front and back. <clears throat> Cross over front and back. Um, we're going to do some like scissor kicks. We're just you know, engage the core. We're going to bring the head to the knee. Try to straighten the legs out. Try to um, breathe. Exhale. And belly in. Exhale when your head meets your knee. Forehead to your knee. Exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold your knee. Your right knee. Hold. And then left knee. Hold, your head is up, torso's uplifted as much as possible. Hold on to your knees as make sure your lower back is on the floor. Um, uh, legs into V, Upavista Konasana. And then I like the assisted stretch where the blocks I put right under my hips. Find that that can actually allow me to get deeper into the pose, having support underneath um, helps me to relax into a deeper. So try that if you like to. Just breathe, surrender. You're right where you're supposed to be. Point and flex your toes if you want to. You can rotate your ankles if you want to. You could put your hands um, on your inner thighs to assist if you like to. Bring your feet together, cross, cross, and open the legs. And then see if you can maybe bounce a little to open them some more. To get a wider, deeper stretch, create more space. Create more space so spirit can move through you. Uh, hold on to the outside of each foot. You can rock and happy baby. You rock from side to side. Release the sacrum, releasing the spine. You can straighten one leg and breathe into the straight leg. Exhale. And the opposite leg. Breathing. <clears throat> Opening. And then hips up. Like hit, hit. This is a really wonderful stretch to release the back. Hip, hips up, and then roll down. Hips up, up, and roll down. Use your core. Pull your core into your body. Hug both your feet together. Uh, feel your feet touching and bring your heels towards your head. You can bring your head to your heels, getting this white, deep stretch for your hips or as far as you can. And, and don't worry if it's not there, if it's halfway there or not there at all. If you're breathing into your hips, you're getting a stretch, you're just rocking back and forth, releasing the spine. And pause and try when you're ready to come up again and using uh, core is engaged, breathing. You can put a 
block behind your head to support so you're not using too much neck muscle here just to really engage the core and stretch the hips. Make this about the hips and the core if you like or not. You know, keep bringing, working your heels towards your forehead, breathing into your hips. And then rock again side to side in pose of a child, creating space, massaging your spine, sacrum. Yep, bicycles, elbow to your knee, uh, opposite, and then just switch, exhale, switch, exhale. If you want to try the block on your head to assist, you can do that. You don't need it, then you don't have to use it. Um, I like it, you know, I just like to get my neck out of the picture sometimes and completely, full, you know, use my core when it works. Um, left knee to your forehead, pulse and hold, and then right knee to your forehead, pulse and hold and breathe. Um, both knees to your chest, rock over for plow and then tap your toes over for plow, tap your toes in the front of you and behind you and use your core in each direction. Really work on the ab wall, strengthening and bringing energy there and um, toning it. So um, feet together, uh, right knee bent, foot rests on the left knee. So the right foot is resting on the left knee. Take your foot out to the side, take a twist, look over your right shoulder, and breathe. And keep the feet where they are, foot where it is. Take your right knee down, getting a different stretch, different uh, oblique stretch twist here. Um, and then both feet. And then the left foot is on the right knee and let that take your right knee down as you breathe into your oblique. And then the right foot will hit the ground as you look over your left shoulder. Keep breathing. And then hug the knees as you roll up. And then you're going to come up into a forward fold, folding over the legs. Inhale, look up halfway, breathe. Switch your hips left to right, create space. Exhale, inhale all the way up. Right knee comes to the chest. Bounce. Again, we're going to bounce that. Uh, pulse, pulse up. Straighten and bend, straighten and bend, straighten. Bend the right leg and bend it and straighten it and bend and straighten. Out to the side, you to push the right hand into the foot and keep working against your knee into the front again. Reach the right leg back for warrior three. Press through your heel, reach through your hands and then right knee comes up again. Take a twist, left hand to right knee, look over your right shoulder, take your right arm all the way around for warrior three. Really left, lift into that heel, press into it, your eyes stay steady on a point, and then keep reaching as you step down for easy twist. Right hand is down, left arm up in the air, and then over high skandasana, low compass, high compass, low compass, look over your shoulder, high compass, lift your hip, Straighten your leg and then bend your leg and then look back and then circle all the way to Skandasana, left leg and right leg Skandasana and left leg Skandasana. <clears throat> and then we're going to rotate around, then bend your left knee down, bend, um, right knee down, sorry, left arm is over and then right arm is over and it like sway and then arms up, heart opens off of your heart. Join your hands, bring your hands behind you, bring your thumb towards your heel, fold over the straight left leg and straighten and bend. And in, breathe in and exhale on the straighten. Inhale, look up, breathe in. Exhale, straighten your leg, fold your neck, let go completely. Inhale, take an easy twist on the left, um, the right knees down and then grab your right foot behind you with your left hand. See if you could open your heart, send your heart through Head back, breathe. Look over your shoulder. Oh, now you're gonna come onto your right elbow, left hand holding your foot, get the quad stretch and bring your hips a little bit forward. Release. Just fold over the straight left leg and then lift the toe up. 
and breathe. And bend the left leg. Straighten the left leg. And bend the left leg. Straighten the left leg. And bend. And reach up again. And then reach the other arm up so it's like um, folding, uh, bending over, reaching over. The right arm is over your head. You're reaching back with the right arm again, grabbing, uh, clasping the right foot with your right hand. Clasp, fold over your left leg. And then reach forward with your left bent leg. And then let go of the back leg. And then take a pyramid, walk your hands forward, fold over your left leg, breathe. Step up into um, all the way, inhaling all the way up to the ceiling. High hands touch, look at your hands on the breath in. And then this time left leg comes up. Left knee is going to bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Keep doing this. Find the strength in your right leg and make circles. Find the balance. Make circles with the left knee. And then straighten it. Make circles as you point the toes. Make circles with the leg. And then bring the leg out to the side and push against the left knee with your left hand and keep pushing against it as you push your hand against your knee and then come back. Come back into warrior three, reach all the way around your hands. If you get, if you use the wall if you need to or the floor, whatever you need to do is perfectly fine. Stretching that left leg back, coming into an E, straighten the right leg and easy twist, bend the right leg and bring the right arm up. And then drop the left knee and fold over and, and um, bend and straighten. And now we're gonna go side to side Finding out where any tension or stress or knots live in your hips and quadriceps and hamstrings. Just breathing through that, discovering what's there for you, what you're holding on to. Begin to really let it go. Um, right hand to your right hip and left arm comes over your head, reaching to the right of the side of the room. And then left hand comes down, reach your right arm over your head, reach into the left side of the room. Breathe, keep um, love that side breathing. And then see if you can grab your leg and reach over with your left hand. And both arms circle around, take skandasana. I mean, uh, horizon pose to high horizon, low horizon, straighten the leg for high horizon and bend the right leg for low horizon. And then fold over for half Hanuman Asana again, lifting the right foot up this time. Breathe into the back of the leg. Pull your right hip back. And sink your hips forward. Release your quadriceps, hip flexors. Breathe. Pick up your left leg with your right hand. Reach your head back. Have courage. Open your heart. Breathe. Again, breathing into your hip flexors, heart, back, quadricep, thigh, hamstrings, fold over the left straight leg and keep, um, right straight leg, sorry, right leg, and then bend the left leg and look over the shoulders. You bend the foot, your left elbow is on the ground, your right elbow, your right hand is holding your foot, breathe. Your left, your right foot is actually bent and straight and underneath your shoulder. Now we're gonna straighten the right leg and come to a modified triangle so hips can go back. Make your spine long and breathe. As your right leg is, um, right hand is down. And now left hand down, right arm up in the air. Swing your hips back. Nice long spine. Fold over the right leg, playing both legs together. Exhale, fold over your legs. I'm going to step off the mat for balance this time. Exhale, completely let it go. Breathe in, inhale all the way up. Just look at your hands on the way to the top. Right leg comes up. Take the twist. 
right left hand holds your right knee look over your right shoulder and then bring your arms to a figure four left right leg is on the left knee for figure four elbows to your foot and your knee and breathe step undo step your right leg back into a um, reverse half moon clasp the foot for a bow behind you bend the right leg and hold on to it with the left hand for bow pose take the uh, i know um this is taking the left leg straight down um for figure four left knee to the ground and right knee massaging through again your sacrum area and making space in figure four for your hips Uh, lift your hips up, head your hip, head back. And I did some alternate, some really quick rapid fire breathing here. <laughs> hips down. I'm going to stretch the hips. See if you can bring your torso as close as possible to it and breathe. And if that's not an option, you can just go up and down again, side to side again with your legs, whatever. It is you want to do, but holding here feels really good after those poses. That was pistol squat, not pistol squat. Baby grasshopper is what we did. Baby grasshopper. So the right leg is up in a um, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand is up, right arm is up, right leg is up. Ardha Chandrasana, breathe. Bring your feet together. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold over your legs. <clears throat> I'll let that go. Exhale, release. And release. And inhale all the way up. Inhale, hands meet at the top. Take the left knee to the chest. Take the left leg back for warrior three pose. Keep reaching to the right, left heel. Keep f maybe flexing that to foot to help you balance. Left knee to the figure four. So now the left foot is over the right knee in figure four. And you're going to come down, really reach into your hips, your hips back, your neck and gaze is forward, reaching forward for the balance. And it's hard, it's tricky, and don't worry if you wobble. Wobbling is good. Strength is built in the wobbles, and every day is different. So it doesn't matter what's happening here as long as you're showing up for yourself. Step back into reverse half moon pose. So the right arm is up and the left arm is down and the left leg is up. Now take a Shiva squat to a baby grasshopper. The right arm reaches in front of the leg and holds the outer edge of the foot. And then unwind into a standing split. Left leg is coming to the ceiling or wherever, wherever it can be in standing split. Breathe. And then join feet together. Nice long spine. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Fold over the legs. You can clasp your elbows again just to release and let go of both sides. Breathing. Inhale, look up halfway. Step your left leg back. And then Shiva squats. So you're going to reach around in front of the left, the right leg again. Take the baby grasshopper. This time, come to a figure four. So your right knee is bent and your foot is right over the left knee. And you're just going to go side to side. Your left knee goes down to the left and over to the, the knees to the right. And you're going to come into a table where you're going to lift your hips squeeze your butt lift your hips let your head fall back if you want and breathe maybe breaths of fire here is always very invigorating and you can add that to the pose bring your hips down when you're ready bring your chest close to your legs as you are ready breathing into your hip and then now you're going to turn step into your left foot step up into your right foot you're going to take a half moon right there on that left hand is down, right arm is up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. And then you're going to clasp the back foot. 
really open through your heart, open through your, your hips and core for sugar cane pose. Release that to a squat behind you. Twist all the way to the front of the mat, arms up. And high lunge, breathing. And then take half moon up. Uh, right foot's back for mm, sugar cane pose. The right foot, uh, left leg is straight, left arm is straight on the ground. Left hand is outside of your foot. So, you know, if you want to try to balance without touching the floor, that's always a nice challenge. Cross your feet, one foot behind the other, and fold over the legs. Exhale, inhale all the way up with the breath. Use your inhale, come up. Standing pose. Uncross the legs, right knee comes up to your heart. Uh, out to the side. We're gonna go all the way up to the side as we reach back into warrior three. Warrior three pose. Flex the foot. Right knee comes through again to your chest. Hands to your heart, hands to your hips. Take your figure four on the right side. Right knee's bent on ankle over your left knee. Reach down, reach, reach your hips back. Reach your hips forward, make your neck nice and long. See if you can take a twist, which would be your kind of your elbow towards your foot top of your foot I'm sorry the bottom of your right foot left elbow um, and then unwind out of this into a twisted half moon pose twisted half moon you can take the baby grasshopper you're going to reach the outer edge of the foot and then reach in front of the bent leg hold under the foot fall down cross knee over knee for matsyasana not matsyasana sorry um Gomokasana, cow face pose. Really breathe into your outer hips. Step into your left leg. Reach the right leg back for reversed. And then take open hearted sugar cane pose. Hips reach forward, leg reaches back, foot away from your hips. The left hand is down and then reach your feet together, inhale, look up halfway, exhale, fold over your legs. Let go completely. Inhale all the way up. Left knee bends. And left knee goes back to warrior three. Left leg straightens, heels lifting. Lift through the back of your leg, lift through your neck. Bend your left knee again to figure four. Place the left ankle over the right knee. Take your elbows to your feet. If you can, take a twist. That just your left elbow to your left foot across your body. And breathe and see if you can find the balance. And it's good if it's wobbly, it's actually really good. You're working. Be grateful that you're working. Take the baby grasshopper from there. Let me swing your left, your left leg behind your right leg. And then you're going to hold on to the outer edge of the left foot. And my leg is bent. Just sit in a figure four. And then make that, make that go mokasana. Left leg is over your right. And you fold over. And breathing. Come on up. Sit back. Now step into your left foot. Unwind out of this into half moon. Right leg is reaching up. You may be on the half side of your mat. It's okay. It's good. And now breathing. Find a balance. If you can, lift your left hand off the ground. Or Take your right hand and your right foot. Push your foot away from your body. Lift your heart through. Lift your hips. Push your hips forward. Breathe. In all the space you release that. Um, step behind for that cross. Folding cross over the legs. Exhale. 
exhale, inhale all the way up with the flat pack, arms up to the ceiling, and then step to the front of the mat into warrior one, left, right leg is bent, left leg is straight, warrior one. Open up into warrior two, bend, bring the right knee out, take reverse warrior, straighten the left leg, um, and then bend warrior two. Now straighten the left leg and try and, and then tap, tap your toes, and then bend the right leg and reach over for reverse, straighten the right leg, tap the right foot, toes up, fold over in pyramid. You can keep your toe up if you want, and you can stay in pyramid. You can just shift side to side in pyramid. Again, see, searching for, and then right leg sweeps the sky to the ceiling. Three-legged dog, bend the right knee and the left knee, place the left knee on the ground. Knee to your forehead, right knee up. Three-legged dog again, straighten up. And then right knee to your, oh, crosses over and side. Um, take your hips to your feet and then inhale, arms back. Arms up, hips to your feet, and arms to your feet. So left arm is coming up. And then over, twist around for left side plank in tree. Or you can have your left foot on the ground if you want to modify. From tree, you're going to lift your, come step to the front of the mat. Take warrior one. Bend the left knee a little lower, a little lower, a little lower. Bend the left knee, reach the right hand behind you, grab your ankle or foot, reach the left arm over your head, um, tuck your tailbone, fold over the right leg, right leg gets straight, your left hip goes onto your left heel, and then shift over to the front, both feet meet the top of the mat, folding over, right leg reaches to the sky, right leg reaches back, warrior one, left leg is bent, Bend a little deeper, breathe. It's open to warrior two. Um, bend the left knee in wo reverse warrior. Uh, touch your toe. Um, bend the left knee, heel up, reverse warrior. Heel down, toe up, tap for tapping over like a triangle. Reverse warrior, heel up. And then triangle, toe up, tap your toes. Bend your knees, reverse warrior, heel up. And tap your toes for triangle pose. Come for a half moon sugar cane. So you just step into it and grab hold of your right foot with your right hand. Breathe. Left foot back. Step into pyramid pose, fold over in your pyramid pose, left leg is forward, left leg sweeps the sky, three-legged dog, place the right knee down, bend the left knee and bring your head to your knee, and then bring your knee to your head, exhale, inhale, take a stretch, breathe in, stretch up, three-legged dog, and then bend the left knee to your head, nose, cross it over, take the side plank, hips to your heels, exhale, long arm, inhale straight through, straighten your legs, and then bend again, straighten again, and bend your hips to your heels, waving your arms, exhale, and then all the way around to the opposite side plank, on your, your right foot, side plank, left leg is bent in tree if you want, or it can be on the floor, whatever you want. You're going to take the right left knee up towards your armpits, bring it to the front for a lunge, a high lunge, breathe, sink your knees, um, tuck your tailbone, and then um, bring it back behind you, reach your back behind you, reach your hands behind, lower, a little lower. A little lower, you're bending your back knee all the way to the ground. Your left arm reaches your foot, heel or ankle. Your, um, I'm sorry, your right arm does. Your left arm reaches over your head. Breathe. Breathe in. Your hips can still reach forward. 
Now you're going to cartwheel your arms and inhale when you're ready. Inhale your arms across for reverse um, Ardha Chajasana, half moon. And then you're going to take the scorpion where you're just going to grab the back foot with your left hand. Breathe. Release into a pistol. Uh, Scott, a okay. So you reach baby grasshopper. You're reaching your left hand arm in front of your left knee, and your right arm is straight. Now straighten both legs and bend an easy twist and straighten, and bend in Verizon, and then reach all the way around. Reach back. over the legs. Reach around. Take a twist until you are in Matsyasana. Hold Matsyasana. Reach to the front. You can see where you, this hip stretch needs to live for you. Sometimes it's in, you can rest in the front of your knee on the on the side of your knee or just on your knee. Breathe. Reverse out of this, you're in a figure four, your left, your right foot's on the ground, sorry, your left knee's bent, tapping each side. And rolling through your sacrum. Rolling through your sacrum and opening your back. And then left foot stamps on the ground, Right leg reaches up and back for warrior three or standing split. Standing split, keep reaching the right leg up. And then you're gonna come down to baby grasshopper, right leg goes right behind the left leg and you hold onto the outer edge and you reach over, through and down for the baby grasshopper. And release, bend the knees over for a twist. Look over your left shoulder. Right leg is bent. Your right foot's on the ground. Now you swing forward and take a baby grasshopper again. Take the outer edge of the left foot. You're forward of the right knee. Place the left foot behind you. Take a twist again. Straighten that right leg and bring it to your heart. Breathe into the stretch. Really hug that leg into your body. And then... Your left, your right leg is on top. You're going to just take the Matsyanda, um, Matsyasana, not Matsyasana, sorry, Gomokasana, cow face pose. Now step into your left foot, roll all the way around with your hands to switch legs. So your left leg is on top. And just elbow to the ground, one arm over your head. Breathe, find a swaying motion with the breath opening. Come forward for a cow face. Breathe into your hips and relax. Breathe. And then um, you're going to take your left knee, left foot straight up, straight to the ceiling. Then the left foot, place stamp the ground, grab <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to move that. Okay, so we're going to twist over, twist behind you. And now use momentum. Twist the opposite way, the opposite way. Now reach in front of the leg and hold the outer edge of the back foot and take the cow face. Place the foot right behind you. Again, going to rotate for twisting. Um, bring the left leg straight, half moon pose. Take Take the half moon pose, step into it, breathe. Um, sugar cane pose. Take forward fold hammock pose. Reach your hands in front, reach your hips behind. Breathe into your entire spine. Make it nice and long. Walk your hands onto your face. Come down. Bring your head to the floor if you can. If you can't, you can maybe walk your legs closer to your face to get your head on the floor. You can. From here, take hand headstand if you like to. You're using your shoulders 
really press into your forearms and shoulders to lift your legs off the floor. And breathe. And when you come down, come down slowly. And then come back into a hammock pose where you're just pulling the rug away from your hips. Your hips are reaching one way, your hands are reaching the other way. Really make this nice and long, kind of almost um, puppy back. You can really press your chest towards the earth for an extra opening through your thoracic spine. Walk your hands under your face. Turn, um, bend your feet down into a puppy pose here. Walk your hands in front, hips up over your knees. Maybe you can tense your fingers. If your forehead comes down easily, just breathe. And if it, if you would like more, bring try to bring your chin and chest to the floor. You might need to scoot up a little bit, but that's breathing. Opening through your arms, arms, chest, heart, back. Breathe, and then reach into your um, elbows and forearms and come on up into a co sphinx pose. So I like to use a block in my sphinx pose. You don't have to. Um, your elbows could be pressing into the ground, your forearms pressing into the ground, your hips kind of pressing into the ground. You're lifting through your top of your head, and your shoulders could kind of be reaching back, and you're kind of bringing your chest forward. Sphinx pose. Breathe. Press into your elbows and lift your hips. Now we're going to do for that puppy pose again on your elbows on a block. Bring your chest through your arms and just breathe. If you're on your forehead, great. If your forehead's not touching and you're hovering, that's great too. Just working your chest towards the floor. Breathe. Down, take child's pose and rest with your arms by your legs and let go of whatever just happened. Feel a sense of deep gratitude for showing up today to your practice. Let's stretch your legs um, and come into a V like, you know, it's kind of somewhat of a frog pose, but your feet are kind of towards each other and just um, spread your knees as much as you can to, you know, um, feel comfortable. They, that It's a really a kind of a cheat to bring your chest forward. If you can, re ease your hips back, your chest back to your hips to really open up your inner thighs here. Breathe. Walk your um, elbows underneath your shoulders. Just getting ready to release your feet together behind you and then just sit right up onto your heels. In front of your heels or on them, in front either. Um, just feel the, bl the blood drain from your head down through your body, the new space and energy you've created in your heart and you're pumping through your veins. Breathe. Now, shift your legs in front of you and maybe we're gonna um, open up your back again this time uh, it's gonna be longer to put the block on its longest height put it right where your bra strap goes 
and then rest your head behind you. So we're really going to open our backs now and create a lot of energy and space for our day. <clears throat> Just bring your arms to your side and breathe. Surrender. Let go. So come to your elbows and push your hands in, off the blocks, um, into the floor, remove the blocks. And lie down. You know, um, take the block on the second level and we're going to place it right underneath our sacrum between our... Um, but you can place it on the second or the third depending on how open you feel. And you can either bend or straighten your legs depending on how open you feel. Um, feet can be on the floor right under your knees or feet can be stretched out long. Stretching and breathing into your hip flexors, surrendering. Breathing. Walk your feet under your knees, and let's take a back bend from here. Fingers are towards your shoulders. The head rests on the ground. Your fingers can walk in towards your ears, and inhale, come all the way up. Really press through your arms, through your heart. Bring your chest and head through your arms. Keep looking at the floor. Keep breathing. Keep squeezing your butt. It really helps a lot, back bends, to squeeze your butt. And keep pushing through your heart, lifting through your heart. Your heart maybe could pop right out of your chest and your shoulder blades can reach towards each other. And then when you're ready, roll down, head down, one vertebra at a time. You can, again, rest in that opening butterfly, supported butterfly pose to surrender. Your knees together, walk your feet under your knees, walk your feet out towards the outsides of the mat and just constructive rest, let your knees fall together, let your feet be outside of your hips and let all the work go, it's starting to really slow down now and if you're tempted to rush out of Shavasana, expect that you are worth it to incorporate everything you've just gained and to let it bask, bask in it. All the wonderful energy you feel right now. Release.
I hope that you keep coming back. Roll over, left arm straight over behind your head. Take three breaths to transition. Come to a seated pose when you're ready or not. <laughs> blessings on blessings. May be happy, may be peaceful, may be filled with light, with love and gratitude. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Keep coming back. Like, share, subscribe.